All right, we're going to get right into this. This is an unfortunately named chapter called "More Complicated." See, that's just a dirty word. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't talk that way. In my algebra one classes, oh, that's wrong. Well, we'll use this word "fun." That makes it a little bit better. Anyhow, okay, we're going to evaluate, which means we're going to find the value of an expression if we plop these numbers in there for x and y and a and c and all that kind of jazz. Okay, I, I, I reemphasize. Your first step is to be quite meticulous and careful and scrupulous on how you copy these down. Make sure you're doing exactly the negative symbols you need to do exactly in the right place, okay? Easiest thing to do is copy the thing down and just uh, very carefully put numbers and minus signs and you know so on where they need to be. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do this first. This is the opposite of C. Well, if C is negative two, then you can go ahead and put the opposite of C will be positive two right there. All right, go ahead and put your bracket and notice there's another opposite C. Well, the opposite of negative two will be also two, okay? All right, parenthesis. X, they tell us, is negative three. Let's put a negative three. And look at there, a third opposite of C, which is again, the opposite of negative two or plus two. Don't put negative three and then a two right next to it. Okay, that's negative 32. Put it exactly like this. Okay, there. Okay, again, let's go um, work our way from inside out. So we'll do this first. So we'll complete our copying here and get two and two. And then negative three plus two is negative one. There you go. And two times negative one will be negative two. And that'll be inside the brackets. And two times negative two is negative four. And there we go. All right. So that wasn't so complex. Or never mind. Forget that word. Don't look at that. Oh gosh, there it went again. Okay. Okay. Pause and copy this one again, and let's do it together. All righty. Since you have paused and copied, or at least paused. All right. T M means T times M. This is, you can do this, go ahead and do this in one step here. T times M means negative four times negative three. Well, we know what negative four times negative three is. The answer to that is 12. Bracket, and let's do another one. We have here the opposite of T. Well, the opposite of the negative four will be four. All right, parenthesis. T itself is a negative four, so we'll just put negative four. And let's go ahead and put the opposite of m here. Well, the m is negative 3. The opposite of m will be positive 3. Parenthesis, end bracket. All right, let's take a look at the inside and work our way out again. All right, let's take this part here. I'm going to copy down 12 again, the bracket again, the 4 again, and I'm going to do this part. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. There we go. All right, working our way out again. 4 times negative 1 gives you negative 4. That's what's going to be the final number inside the bracket. And 12 times negative 4 is negative 48. And there we go. All right. We'll do one more, and then we'll get our practice problems. Look at that language. Ugh. What is this PowerPoint? Microsoft is just, you know, I tell you, they're, they're really losing everything. Ah, just, anyway. Oh, brother. Okay. Okay. Take a second and copy very carefully. I'm assuming you have copied now. Let's take a very careful, this is a little longer. Yeah, who cares? You're just doing the same thing over and over, right? A is negative three. So the opposite of A will be positive three. And you'll not be surprised to learn that exactly the same thing happens here, right? That's gonna be the three. Then these parentheses, you just have normal old A there, right? So that will be negative three itself. Then we have the opposite of y. Well, y is negative five, so the opposite of that will be positive five. And then copy your negative, parenthesis. We have an a, which is negative three. And another opposite y, which will be the opposite of negative five. And the parenthesis, and there's a bracket, okay? Let's take a look at uh, the inside here. Let's do parentheses first. Copying my three, copying the bracket, copying the three. Let's take care of these parentheses. Negative three plus five, two. Minus 
negative 3 plus 5, 2. All right. You can put it in parentheses or you don't have to. We'll do it just for, I guess, convenience sake. All right. Well, inside these parentheses, the order of operations has to be this first. So we, I'm copying my 3 outside. I've got a bracket. 3 times 2 is 6. Minus 2 is inside. All right, and then we have 6 minus 2 gives us 4. 3 times 4 is 12, and there we go. Okay. All right, try practice uh, problem. Let's go ahead, go ahead and do A and B. And when we finish with those two, come on back and let's knock them around and see what we can get. Okay, well, let's take a look at this. A is, do I have that correct? A is 2, P is negative 4. Well, the opposite of A would be a negative 2. Bracket, and the opposite of A, again, would be negative 2. P would be negative 4. The opposite of A would be another negative 2. In the parenthesis, in the bracket. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to do parentheses inside here first. I'm copying down everything else just so I can keep it straight in my head. Negative four minus two is negative six. Still inside the parentheses here. Negative two times negative six is 12, positive 12. That is being multiplied by negative two. The answer is negative 24, all right? B, let's take a look. P is negative two. And A is negative 4. Well, you know, if you just put P A, that means P times A. Well, negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8. And that's what goes on the outside. There's your bracket. The opposite of P is going to be positive 2. And the opposite of A will be positive 4. Inside here, we have 2 times 4, which is 8. And then 8 times 8 is 88. No, it's not. It's 64. Okay. Just check. Try C. Copy that down. Uh, pause it and give it a whirl and then come back when you're finished. All right. A little bit longer, but very doable. You just do the same thing over and over. The opposite of X, if X is negative 2, is 2. All right. And again, it's still 2. And I have a regular old x this time, which is negative 2. Then I have the opposite of a, which will be the opposite of negative 5, which will just be 5. Minus, notice I'm carefully copying these things down the best I can. a is negative 5. The opposite of x will be plus 2. And in the bracket. All right. Let's do inside the parentheses first. Let's do this and to get this together in one fell swoop here. So that's a two and a two. This part will be three. This is a minus, I'm copying that down. Negative five plus two will be negative three. All right, well, inside here we do parentheses again, and this is what gets done first. That's a multiplication. It's copying my two, copying my bracket. Two times three is six. The opposite of negative three is three. Here we go. Brackets first in the parentheses. That's going to be 2 times 9. And the answer to that is 18. Okay. All right. Hang in there with those. If you miss some, it's okay. Just look carefully at what little negative and little sign mistakes you made and fix them for next time. And you guys have a great day. We'll see you next time.